Hi everybody, Craig here. Welcome back to Symphony of War, the Nephilim Saga. In our last episode, we completed Chapter 3, which involved us cornering rebel forces being led by General Antares, and of course they were holding Empress Florina, and we actually cornered the General and the Empress, Craig and Zelos both did, and we were treated to an amazing twist whereby the Prime Minister Casimir actually planned this whole thing and was intending to use Craig and Zelos as scapegoats and brand us as traitors. Meanwhile, uh, the general killed himself as a way to kind of uh, retain his honor. And then the Prime Minister actually murdered the Empress in order to basically take her, her place and become the reigning monarch of the, uh, of the Empire. So amazing turn of events and we i kind of saw it coming a little bit as really the prime minister seemed like kind of a shifty guy like he couldn't be trusted but i really didn't expect the brutality or the uh the way that he was going to brand us as traitors so it'll be really interesting to see what happens next and we're going to move on now to chapter four uh paradigm shift stefan master spy of the denari temple must pull off a daring rescue from the clutches of the followers of Zanatus. So we're going to start chapter four. Betrayal. Prime Minister Casimir has Craig and Zelos taken alive just before assassinating Empress Florina. Using his position, he blames the murder on the Denari Temple's meddling. Unimpeded by a sitting head of state, and newly bolstered by the victory over Antares, Casimir strengthens his position as Prime Minister for all Viridia. But neither the throne nor the Empire's strongest noble houses are under his control. Before too long, the great Dukes of the Empire, Traynor of the Duchy of Remorg, Lothar of the Duchy of Isanter, and Jeremir of the Duchy of Embor all issue public rebukes of one another, claiming the Empress's murder was a political plot to attempt to gain control of the Imperial throne. Florina's uncle, Traynor, sends his army to his forward base at Fort Eureka as a show of force. The fate of Craig and Zelos remain a mystery. However, fortunes turn in Craig's favor as an unlikely hero arrives just in time. Seven years ago, Imperial Academy. Don't you guys have anything better to do? Where'd you get that uniform? You been stealing from the armory, street urchin? What should we do with the thief? Probably gonna go cry into the master sergeant again. I'm watching you, street urchin. If I had my way, kids like you to be sent home. Yeah, go home. I hear the back alleys are comfy this time of year. <laughs> you okay, Craig? Hi, Zelos. I guess so. Don't sweat those guys. I've seen you in class. Not enough brains between the three of them combined to make one of you. Thanks. Zelos, these are supposed to be my comrades. They are. When it comes down to it, we're all gonna get we're all gonna bleed for each other. They're testing you. You gotta fight back, Craig. Doesn't matter who, you always gotta show the world you're not to be messed with. You could take these guys no problem. If I helped you, they'd never leave you alone. Just trust me on this one. Even if you get roughed up, it'll pay off in the end. Something might happen to those guys later. If anyone asks, you had nothing to do with it. 
See you around, Craig. Chapter 4. Paradigm Shift. It's times like these I ask myself, what went wrong? How'd the likes of Stefan end up against these devil worshippers, running the risk of bringing harm to this beautiful face voluntarily? Ah, well, these prisoners likely won't be saving themselves. These guards are no joke, but as a certified thief, I can take these guys out with a stealth attack. If I'm the one attacking, I'll be able to hit enemy squads from behind. No need to fuss with the heavily armored frontline guys. Okay, so it looks like we have Stefan, who is light infantry. Bet you and didn't see this one. As coming. he mentioned, let's check his status here. So he's a level nine rogue, and he has, let's see some traits here thievery on combats initiated by my squad steal a small amount of gold from the primary target based on skill uh he's got treasure hunter as the leader of the squad increased chance to find an item when destroying or forcing surrender of enemy squads then he's got stealth attack which is what he was just talking about attack the rear row without penalty on the first round of combat and then he's got gorilla bonus hit and evasion when standing on rough terrain and or on offense um okay so let's see yeah, very interesting. So he's by himself in the in the in the squad here, but uh, hopefully between our stealth abilities, we can kind of whittle our way through. And it looks like is this Craig? Yeah. So we're gonna try to free Craig out of the dungeon. It would it would appear, and presumably Zelos is around here somewhere. I hope. I don't see him, but maybe we can find Zelos as well. And let's check our mission objectives before we go any further here. All right, victory. Craig escapes from prison. Defeat. Any friendly units are defeated in battle. Wow, okay, so we can't let anyone die. Challenge missions. Stefan defeats an enemy in just one attack, and we need to open all treasures. Looks like we have 11 turns, and we have to kill off four enemy target squads. All right, so let's I take Stefan. Step in behind here. All right, we'll try a normal attack. Okay, so it's an archer, so we should be... should This, this should be pretty easy to do, I hope. Nice. There he goes, sneaking in behind and getting the getting the kill and some gold out of it too. Now I don't think we can move Craig yet. No. So I think that's going to be it for our turn. Yeah, because Stefan is our only friendly um, squad. So Let's see what the enemy does here. Well, they maybe they aren't aware that we're even here yet. So getting real thirsty here. Let's see, maybe we can go like this. Alright, so now let's see if we can go in there and kill off the one guarding Craig. Well, would you look at that. We got ourselves some treasure, ripe for the taking. Sure, it's not part of my mission, but as a certified thief, I would be doing a disservice to my kind to leave any treasures behind. It's my moral duty. All I gotta do is walk right on top of it, and what's inside the treasure is ours. In fact, anyone can grab it, not just me. Okay, so there's nothing down there, but we, we definitely want to try and get all the treasure, as again, I believe, uh, as we just looked at, that is one of our open all treasures, is one of our challenge missions. So we want to do that. Oh, sorry. First, let's something? see if we can get the kill here. Nice. Okay, that's great. Now, we're probably going to take an attack here, but let's see how that goes. Oh, interesting. Okay. I thought he was going to try to attack me, but I guess Bet not. Didn't see this well, one let's coming. go talk to Craig. Someone up there likes you, friend. Let's get you out of those chains. What? What's going on? Name's Stefan. I'm working for the temple. Thank you, Stefan. I'm Craig. Can you swing a sword, Craig? Well, I hope so, because these cultists are hot on my trail. We'd best find our way out of here, friend. I think I saw the exit around the corner, just northwest of here. Okay, so now we have control of Craig. Now, we have to be obviously careful for my because... For my homeland. Um, Craig is a level 6 captain. He does have guardian, but... 
he's, you know, by himself, so he's going to be somewhat vulnerable. So we don't want to, you know, throw him into combat strong. if we don't have to. That said, if we are going to use him, it'd probably be best to have him play kind of defense, given that he has Guardian. Okay, we'll end our turn there. Okay. Now let's see if our rogue... I love this Yes, card. he can get all the way down there to get the kill. Let's do that. This should be a one hit. Perfect. And you know what? Let's use Craig maybe to grab the treasure. Although, what are we up against? I mean, I suppose we could try and use Craig offensively, but I just don't know if that's worth the risk, to be perfectly honest. So let's, let's have Craig go for the treasure. Stefan did mention that anyone can open it, so... I think it'd be playing it a little safer to have Craig open the treasure. Uh-oh. Hell's bells. Guess my cover's blown. We gotta get moving, kid. They're bringing in reinforcements. Ready. Alright, well, we'll grab the treasure while we can. That's a lot of gold. That's great. Alright, now let's move up and kill the archer. Nice, okay. Let's take a look. What's the movement like on this guy? Okay. Yeah, we're going to be able to get Craig out of there. That'll be fine. Yikes, that is a little scary, though. For my people. Uh-oh. Yeah, homeland. I think Craig's going to come under attack from, the, from this guy. Well, we should be able to survive the attack. He's a level 6 spearman. We have more health than he does. I think we'll be okay. Um, but in the meantime here, let's see. So there's more treasure up there that we got to do. Oh, sorry. Let's get our rogue Did up and at least something? kill off this guy. Okay, there we go. That takes care of that at least. All right, how are we doing on our objectives here? Mission info. So we've, yeah, we've eliminated all the target squads. Now we just have to get out of here and we've got four more turns to do it, it looks like. So I think we'll end it there. Now, Craig is going to come under attack, I think. Hopefully, we can survive. Yikes, this is a little scary. Oof, okay, pretty good damage we took. Oh, we do more than he does, though, thank goodness. Okay, that's great. Yeah, no trouble there. Oh, man, more reinforcements. I that's must not stay ideal. Strong. Um... Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to have Stefan go up to start opening these treasure chests. And we're actually going to send Craig, rather than trying to get the finish here, because we have enough health to, to tank another attack, we're just going to run with Craig. The time to act is now. Plus, he does have that Guardian, so he takes less damage in defense. So... Yeah, even if he gets another hit on me, that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. And now we'll get the kill. No problem. A little more experience with Craig isn't so bad either. And now this gives me time to hopefully open the treasure and then get Craig to the exit. So I we're going to use our guys. rogue here. Grab the treasure. Ready. Meanwhile, Craig can just start running for the exit. Oh, boy. Well, that's not good. <laughs> Whoa, Stefan, how do you plan on getting by the blonde with the giant hammer? Nah, that's Diane, our ticket out of here. She's my partner in crime. Diana, as in the leader of the temple paladins? I never thought I'd see her in the flesh. Why in the world would such a figure be here? Let's have a meeting of the minds later, Craig. If I were you, I'd just do what I do and let Diana deal with these guys while I nab the loot. Works like a charm every time. <laughs> okay, it looks like we have Diana here, who is, wow, extremely strong. Um, but I don't think we have control over her, so let me just take a look at her. Wow, okay, she's a level 11 exemplar. She has magic armor, so she has uh, protection against magic spells that are coming her way. Very powerful, though. Look at the... Wow, she's a ton of health. Look at her strength, 129. She's very, very powerful. 
So I guess for now, we'll just end it there because, yeah, she's not under our control currently. So we'll just end it there. Wow, just one shot at him. Wow, another one dead. Each one that attacks her is just going to die. Well, this is great for us. It's going to give us an opening to at least get Craig out of here. I hope. Excellent. Okay, they're all dead. So now the big thing is just getting Craig to the exit. For my people. For my homeland. I don't know if we're going to get there in time. Are you one of the prisoners here? Yes, I was. This is fortunate. We did not expect this. You must come with me. Guess I'm in no position to argue. Okay, so that takes care of that. Now we'll just open this treasure. Nice, we got a bronze arena token. And I think that should have met our... Yes, we've opened all the treasures. Now, I, I'm assuming we just have to talk to her rather than getting all the way up to this arrow. But I guess we'll find out. Uh, you sure you want to end your turn? No. Oh, I guess... Okay, we have control over her Where now. Where am I needed? Let's see if we can go up here. Actually, well, hang on. Yeah, let's see if we can get to this and then end it. Hmm, maybe that the wasn't the right never move. Surrenders. Um, we probably have to get Craig up there, actually. I must stay strong. Okay, let's see if we can. Donar, be with us. We shuffle. Shoot, I don't think we're going to be able to end this in time. Oh, that's really unfortunate. We're one one movement spot short. Oh, sorry. Did you need something? Well, I guess it took us one extra turn, unfortunately. Nice dodge there. Pretty big damage. Ouch. Okay, we got the kill at least. I think what I was supposed to do there is use Diana to actually move Craig one extra space because now you can see that we're actually a turn over what we wanted for our target the turns. Battle lies before me. But that's all right. We'll we'll end it here. Yeah, so we took one turn too many. That's the only negative there. So an A rank instead of an S rank. That's okay. I see. I thought we. I thought if maybe we move Diana to the arrow, that would get us out. But what I needed to do is move Diana over to Craig, shuffle him over one, and that would have allowed me to escape one turn earlier. But all in all, I'm still very happy with how that went. Uh, we got all the treasure opened, and we met some new characters. So hopefully, um, you know, not so bad. Granheim Abbey is just over those mountains. It is a Denari Temple outpost. We will be safe there. Please keep moving. If the cold does not take us, enemy patrols will. Am I the only prisoner you found alive? Sorry, friend. You're it. Zelos. He was with me before they took me. He fought to save my life. Our enemy is clever and elusive. It is possible that your friend was taken elsewhere. What enemy? Long story, friend. We'd best be hidden, though. Asking for a bit of trust here. Of course.
Welcome to Granheim Abbey. The temple has maintained a presence here for generations. Right. Only these temple folk are crazy enough to want to live here, I suppose. Gotta admire their grit. Let us speak in the chapel. I don't wish for the pilgrims to hear anything. It is a miracle that we found you when we did, Craig. Who were my captors? The followers of Xenatus, my mortal enemy, scourge to all the innocent people of our world. Xenatus? Yep, that one. Some call him the devil, the bringer of death, dark god, what have you. Turns out he's got quite the following here among us mortals. A cult of sorts. They might have taken you away, never to be seen again, had we been just a tad slower. Have you heard of the battle between the Dark God Zanatus and Dinar? Well, no, I haven't, so I'm going to say no. In a time long before living memory, the world was covered in despair. The Dark God Zanatus was summoned into our world and the human race endured unspeakable tyranny and hardship under his rule. Seeking to liberate their people, five warriors led by the legendary hero Dinar rose up in rebellion. Dinar became the symbol of hope, and for the first time, people believed that Zenatus could be defeated and they could be free. On the brink of defeat against overwhelming odds, the five heroes received the boon of the heavens. With this new power, they pushed back the demonic forces of Xenatus, and Dinar plunged his blade into the heart of the dark god himself, sending him to the void. With the defeat of Xenatus followed the collapse of his empire. The human survivors, guided by faith, planted the seeds of civilization as we know it today, and prospered for centuries. This ancient battle is about to return to our world. Everything has been set into motion as it is told in the prophecy. This is why the cultists have mobilized. They are searching for the Nephilim. Nephilim. You mean the giants in children's fairy tales? The five heroes who defeated Xenatus so long ago ascended to the heavens to watch over us as the gods. Their spirits have seen fit to return to our world to be reborn into five mortals, five Nephilim. We of the temple have no doubt. War is coming, and Xenatus is marshalling his forces against us. Come on, Diana. Are you going to tell him, or do I have to? We did just witness you in battle. What, are you supposed to be one of these Nephilim or something? The prophecy is not so easily interpreted. The Temple Grandmaster Oxley believes I bear the characteristics of a Nephilim due to my lineage. But you were the only survivor we found here. They know something about you, Craig. That makes you a part of the prophecy. That's... come on. There's nothing special about me. I'm just on the wrong side of Casimir's scheming. If you expect me to just listen and believe... You need not simply believe. Look. This is a runic pattern designed to channel certain energies. This is this more humane version is used by the temple. And mine. Every prisoner had this inscription. 
Evidence of cult experimentation. To fail their test is to die. Yet, as you live and breathe, you stand before us. This can't be real. Pretty outlandish stuff, eh? I try not to question it. Makes things nice and easy. What exactly would you have me do? It is normal to resist your fate. I cannot force you to do anything. All I ask is that you put your trust in us and all the Denari Temple, your newest ally. You are now known to the followers of Xenatus. They will be coming for you. I have a small army here in Granheim Abbey. If you would join us, we are planning to return home to our main temple at Lemelin. You've saved my life. I owe you the benefit of the doubt. But only as far as your home temple. Zelos could still be out there. He would be looking for me, so I can't just leave him behind. My friend, if you and I truly are Nephilim, I will never leave your side, and no one will stand in our way. It is the fate of Nephilim to reunite as one, else all may be lost. No friend of yours will go unsaved. No enemy of yours will go unpunished. Of this you have my word and my honor. Hard to argue with that. Come, I requested that a force of temple warriors be assembled for us. Let us meet them. Sister Diana, I hope we meet your expectations. And we have more than enough supplies to make it home to make it safely home. Wow. Of course, Abigail. Thank you, sister. You are to serve our new friend Craig during our journey. Sister. So pleased to meet you, Craig. Yes, I am a priestess of the Sisterhood of Mercy. You look so familiar. Do you have a brother? Oh, yes, I certainly do. <laughs> yep, you're a mere image of my friend, Jules. Only a sibling of his could be so... sunny. You know my brother? Wow, how fortuitous! If you are a friend of my brother, you are surely a friend of mine, dear Craig. If you will have me, of course. Wow, okay, so we had a lot of, uh, of backstory there and some really interesting developments. So it sounds like there's kind of the prince's plot, or excuse me, the prime minister's plot, Casimir, and then there's also the uh, kind of subplot going on of the cult of Xenatus, and it sounds like perhaps the prime minister is involved with this as well. So quite a lot of developments, and it sounds like we may be a Nephilim along with Diana. So that would be, you know, quite an interesting development for, uh, you know, what that means for us going forward. But in any case, we're going to have to see if we can find Zelos because obviously we've been busted out of prison, but we have no idea where Zelos is or the rest of our forces for that matter. So it would be great if, uh, you know, going forward, we can hopefully find our friends. But I'm really interested to see what happens next and, you know, quite a quite a, a, a wild turn of events and a lot of changes here in the last episode or so. But in any case, um, I'm going to save it here. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.